Good day. We are from Group 3, Section 5. My name is Ho Yen Mei with matrix number of AF1980243. I would like to start this presentation for our project. The title for our project is The Newton Law of Cooling. Without any further delay, I would like to present the introduction of the Newton Law of Cooling. As you can see on the left side of the slide is the picture of Sir Isaac Newton who was a mathematician in the 16th century and he dis discovered many nature laws that exist in our world and one of the laws which is the Newton's law of cooling which is basically the topic of our project. The Newton law of cooling states the difference in temperature between the body and the surrounding is directly proportional to the rate of heat loss of a body. That is the definition of the Newton laws of cooling. And one of the researchers, Besson, have stated that the law is also qualified to include the condition that the difference in temperature is small and the heat transfer process remains the same in nature. As such, it is similar to a hypothesis that the coefficient of heat transfer mediating between heat losses and temperature differences is constant. Newbeck states that after many researches and experiments, Newton, Newton concludes that the suitable hypothesis for this law is to greater the difference in temperature between the system and surrounding. More rapidly, the heat is transferred. As you can see on the left side of the screen, the Newton law of cooling formula is expressed as such. You can view it properly there. Our objective on this project is to find cooling rate of the hot mixed alfax in tropical climate when designing a pavement and application of the Newton law of cooling to calculate the data in this experiment. So this, these are the two objectives that we are going to do for this project that we have found online. So I would like to uh, hand over this presentation to my another group mate to proceed and that is, will be my part for my presentation today. Thank you. Good morning, my name is Mo Chun Ting and my matrix number is CF190035. Today I want to present about the theory and analysis by Newton law of cooling. It is often used to model heat loss by conversion during cooling process. It's that that the rate of heat exchange between an object and its surrounding is proportional to different in temperature between the objects and the surrounding. The below part is the rate of the cooling. If the rate of the chain of temperature T of the object is directly proportional to the difference in temperature between the object and its surrounding. Then we get the flowing equation where K is a proportionality constant. Let T equal to temperature of the object and Ta is temperature of surrounding and t equal to time. As this separable different <coughs> different equation, we can separate the equation to have one set of sub depend on the on t and the other side soft dependence on t. Then dt equal to negative kdt over t minus ta then integrate both of side uh, this one is the solution of the newton uh, newton cooling then this is the step of the solution
ends, we can conclude that the that for the general so solution for neutral cooling, the temperature of the object T in surrounding surrounding airway temperature is the flowing equation, and T equal to time A equal to different between the inning temperature of the object and the surrounding K is a constant and the continued rate of the cooling of process. That's all for my present about the ap application of the first order different equation. Assalamualaikum and greetings. I am Abizarin, Group 3, Section 5, under Dr. Adele on Civil Engineering Mathematics 2 presenting our next chapter of the project that is data and calculation. The data that was gathered for the project was a reference for us from evaluation by Dr. Wardati Hashim, a UITM lecturer on the same civil engineering department. The data was a cooling data which I'll we are we gonna use for the, for our project on Newton's law of cooling it is a two different asphalt mix with it is ACW 14 and ACB 28 recorded at daytime and nighttime for each mix the data shows asphalt asphalt cooling curve Celsius Celsius degree versus minute and the cooling rate tabulated and the figure shows it is cooling rate of asphalt which is already tabulated and is ready for us to use to make calculation the data for cooling curve is also needed in numerical data the curve is as decided we decided the curve was then collected its data with use of digitizer for better accuracy efficiency and convenience like you can see in the figure second there is the first raw data that was raw data for us which is temperature versus time of a cooling curve of four different time on daytime, daytime of ACW 14 mix. By using a digitizer, we can tabulate the data with respecting to four decimal places, three to four decimal places accurate. Next, the calculation. The calculation that we was used from the Newton's law of cooling formula step 1 we gathered we make we converted a formula from the main formula as as the cooling sample is hotter than the ambient temperature then the C is it is to find to find the C, we need to eliminate the K. By eliminating the K, we have to use the early data, that is the data, the time when it is zero and the temperature of the sample is the highest, which is 160 degrees Celsius. Step three, by using the main formula, we can find the constant by using by substituting the early data which is the rate of cooling the temperature and the ambient temperature step 4 the time is founded by substituting c k the temperature of one time the temperature respecting to time and the ambient temperature that was gathered T are founded to be almost similar 
to the T on data sheet. By the comparison, comparison has been made by dividing the highest to lowest result data, highest to lowest result or data with percentage. By then, we can find whether the similarity are quite high especially on the early curve of the data like you see when the time of 1 to 30 finally all the calculation is tabulated in Excel and we can analyze and investigate by further discussion and conclusion thank you so much i will give the, pre the presentation for another member hi now i am going to talk about the discussion of the project first we need to compare the theoretical value with few results there are two tables in the slide in this slide the first one is field result which was which was obtained by the lab the second one is the theoretical value which were obtained by our calculation according to the theory for theoretical value we use formula to determine the time for compressions of SCW14 in this formula there are so many data we, we require. The first data we require is the temperature at specific time. The temperature we want to determine is the temperature from compression. So which the temperature will be at the Celsius degree. The second data we require is the ambient temperature. The ambient temperature for three periods during the times are different. For 9 a.m., the ambient temperature is 29 Celsius. For 1 a.m., the ambient temperatures are 32 Celsius degree. For 5 p.m., the ambient temperature is 31 Celsius degree. So the, the, the data we require is the combined K. In our calculation part, the K was calculated for every 10 minute interval in the pairing process so we are going to combine the k value until the the time of the compression temperature which is at the celsius degree is obtained the constant a is obtained from the calculation part previously after inserting the required data in the formula given we are able to calculate the time for compression for three dual, three billion during day times. At nine a.m., the calculated TAC is forty-four minutes. However, the field result for TAC is forty-seven minutes, which is only differed by three minutes. For one AM the calculated TAC is 71 minutes while for the field result at 1 AM is 77 minutes. They are differed by 6 minutes. At 5 PM the calculated TAC is 49 minutes. However the field result for TAC is 50 minutes. They are differed by 1 min one minute only. In a conclusion, the calculator TAC is slightly different from the field, field result. This duration may happen due to the variation of measures condition, wind thrust, atmosphere, wind velocity, or other control variable at the field during the lab test time. So now we are going to prove our theory is applicable in the reality. 
The Newton law of cooling indicates that the rate of heat exchange between an object and its surrounding is proportional to the difference in temperature between the object and the surrounding. In other words, the higher the difference in temperature between the object and the surrounding, the higher the rate of heat exchange. From the data, we found that the rate of change of heat exchange is no constant during the paving process. The rate is highest at the first 10 minutes. In other words, in first 10 minutes, it emits the most heat. After that, the rate will decrease with time. This rate will decrease until a constant is reached. After a specific time, the rate of heat rate of chance of heat exchange will remain constant until the rate the rate uh reach the value of zero, which which means there are no heat emitted anymore. We can find in the table at 9 p.m., the ambient temperature is lowest, which is 29 degrees Celsius. And thus, the difference between H and R temperature is also highest. The, cost, the highest difference caused the rate of change of his actions is also highest. In, in, con, in a construct, at 1 p.m., the, temp the ambient temperature is the highest, which is 32 degrees Celsius. One, at 1 p.m., the difference in temperature between the HMA and the surrounding temperature is the lowest. So, we can find on the table that the rate of change in the first 10 minutes is also lowest. In a nutshell, we can conclude that the Newton law of cooling is obeyed. The theory is able to be applicable in the reality. This is our last part in our discussions. We will discuss the application in reality. With the cooling law, contractors are able to choose the best period during day times of night times to carry out roof payment in order to save time. The contractors need to choose the period with the uh, HMA temperature is differ very, very highly with the surrounding temperature. Besides, the law also helps the contractor to predict the time when specific temperature is given.